Hey Pisces, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. These are your little monthly tidbit readings. We're trying to keep them down to under 15 minutes um, or 20. I noticed one of them went to 20 minutes, but anyway, this is your monthly reading. It is love, all love, 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 love for Pisces. Um, anyone with Pisces placements or cross watchers, whoever, right? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this? True love, Pisces. Shut the front door. What else do we need to know for Pisces in the way of love? Okay, you got two very soon. You deserve love and worth waiting for at the bottom. Somebody else just had this at the bottom. Cancer. Cancer. Did all three water signs have this at the bottom? Hold on one sec. Okay, it was just Cancer. Cancer had the same one at the bottom. So, and Scorpio had soulmates right here where you have true love. That's why I felt they were so similar. So you might have something, um, you know, water signs often are coupled together because they blend so well together. We have true love. We have this is the romance of a lifetime. Beautiful. Uh, we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so what I'm feeling right away is this is all what you're calling in, but it, you're about to get what you're calling in, okay? Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. And look at like Cupid's ready to, you know, pull that back and look what it's pushed. It, it's shooting right at what worth waiting for true love here we've got divine timing is at work in your love life so all of this is what's being called in it's all about divine timing spirit says just be really upfront with us about who and what you want in your life like ordering a meal i always say this don't be afraid to ask ask for fried onions don't be afraid to ask for them raw don't be afraid to ask for extra cheese hot peppers whatever you like please place that order they want to know exactly what you want clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and this is also about you getting clear on what you want do you want the ex who treated you bad or do you really want something that's beautiful think about it a lot of people want their ex only because they want to win Okay, it's not that you really, you don't want to be treated like crap. You don't want to be cheated on, lied to, put in third parties, you know, maybe, you know, verbally attacked, maybe physically attacked. Whatever this ex did to you, do you really want that back? The truth is no, you just don't want to lose. But the truth is to go back to them is the lose. The win was getting away from them, no matter how it happened and how painful it was, right? So the truth is spirit wants you to be very clear on what it is you want what do you want because it might not be coming from somebody you were with before it's coming from someone new but guess what that new person is a true love it's going to be the romance of a lifetime you just don't know it yet you haven't seen it yet so they're saying get really clear on what you want and then be prepared for it to come in and they're also saying sorry guys i'm plugging in the computer hold on one sec Okay, so they're also saying you deserve this, that you are totally lovable and should have real love, and this one will be worth the wait. Okay, divine timing is at work, is at play in your love life. So the truth is you had to possibly figure it out. Maybe you needed the time to figure it out, okay? So let's, let's get right into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Pisces, anyone with Pisces placements, what do we need to know? True love, very soon you deserve love and worth waiting for. Beautiful cards, Pisces, I mean, really, but it just shows, look at these two, they look identical to each other. Very soon, your true love is coming in. Look at them, they are identical cards. They're just in different outfits, right? But the same exact pose. This is coming for you. You deserve this. They just want you to be sure that, you know, you're not still wanting something else or that you don't want the wrong thing. They want you to be sure you're ready for true love, high vibration. Totally worth waiting for. Tell me about Pisces here. What do we need to know in the way of love for Pisces? In the way of love, Pisces. Anyone with Pisces placements? High vibration. There we go. The honoring path. Love that. You know, you're getting a lot of the same cards. Oh, wow. Great gratitude and new beginnings. 
This is beautiful energy. This is like Cancer had this one, the honoring path, and Scorpio had the new beginnings. I wonder if you are not connected to other another water sign. Um, oh, what am I doing? Okay, that's got to go. Let's get the next deck. What do we need to know here, please, for Pisces? So you are definitely about to go down a brand new path. You're going to love this path that you're going to go down. But you have to get clear on it. Is it what you really want? Uh, just one or two. That's too many. Just one or two. What do we need to know for Pisces? Having to do with Pisces in the way of love. Pisces. Walking away. Yeah, see, I was feeling that. Okay, what else? Pisces. In the way of love. Yeah, Archangel Gabriel. Heart, uh, throat chakra. Divine timing again. Wow, you know it's coming. Okay, so let's talk about this. At the bottom, you have action. So it's time. It's go time. It really is. All right, so what I'm seeing happening here is... All right, so we've got 5th Chakra Archangel Gabriel and 6th Chakra Archangel Metatron. So we're dealing with your throat chakra and we're dealing with the third eye chakra. So you got a lot of... Um, well, you know, your your throat chakra has everything to do with speaking up, speaking your truth, you know, um, honesty, communication, listening even. Okay, but your third eye chakra has to do with your intuition. Uh, it has to do with your psychic abilities and your understanding of your purpose. Um, it, it's center of your intuition and foresight is all about your third eye. So I feel as though... Wow, you're going to have to, like, you are walking away from something or you're needing to walk away completely. Like, take that one last glance back at the past and keep on going. And that's what I felt when this all came out. When Spirit said, you have to decide. We want to send you true love. You deserve it and it's worth waiting for. But you have to clearly decide. That means taking that glance back at the past and then letting it be. Let the past be in the past. Um... If you are still communicating with an ex or still um, texting, calling, talking, checking up on their social media, anything. They're saying, look, say your goodbyes, say your one last whatever you got to say and move on because divine timing is at play twice in your reading. Look at this tiny little reading and you've got it twice. Patience. See how it's all about divine timing? See the clock in the center of this is Archangel Michael coming in to say... We're sending you your soulmate, the one you're supposed to be with. And you intuitively, I feel, already know this. I already think you know this. But you know there's something you got to do about the past. Something you have to do about walking away or leaving behind. Even if it's just energetically, you're going to have to release. I'm going to get another card or two on this because I want just a little more information on this. Let me get a little more. Okay, so what do we need to know about walking away? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Angel of strength and victory. This is overcoming something you needed to leave behind and having the strength to walk away brings you victory. Okay. All right, let's look at um, fifth chakra archangel gabriel what do we need to know about fifth chakra i feel like you need to speak up about something and you might have to work on that throat chakra to do so tell me about fifth chakra archangel gabriel what do we need to know about it for pisces second chakra archangel ariel so sacral chakra okay so this has to do with your this is like controls your sexual desire but it also has to do with your self-worth your creativity this is something so if i feel as though um with it being connected to the throat chakra as well now keep in mind in between all this is your solar plexus and your heart chakra so i feel like something you keep within you that you don't let out has to do with um not i feel like all your chakras are messed up especially the the second through the fifth so second third fourth and fifth right i feel as though um you should definitely in my opinion get on youtube put it in there that you need to balance out those chakras and all kinds of stuff will come out 
all kinds of stuff is going to come out and you can decide what you like. I dabble with it a bit. I have found through the times that I work on these um, chakras, I prefer seed mantras. They work the best for me. Any kind of mantra that you like, you can do, or you can do guided chakra balancing. These are usually done by somebody who's American or, or Australian or Canadian or somebody, you know, that is, you know, or whatever, whoever it is, um, that are guiding you through um, the bells and the chakra balancing and all that stuff. So um, it depends on what you like, really, and what works for you. I'd dabble a little bit if you don't already do this, and I would definitely, and forget just working on two through five. I'd work on all of them. Get them all, I mean, two through six, actually, because you've got six chakra Archangel Metatron over here, too. I'd work on all my chakras if I were you. Um, you can do it for, in 10 minutes. You can do it in eight hours. It depends on what you want, what you choose from all of the choices you will have, and there will be thousands of them. Okay, so anyway, this strength to walk away from something is where your victory lies, okay? Um, now, this could be walking away from a something that you do. This could be a habit. This could be something that has held you back from true love. This could be, this doesn't have to be you walking away from something from the past, but it's something you do that has maybe kept you off this honoring path. So they're saying if you have the strength to overcome and get victory on whatever this is, you have to leave behind, whether it's a something you do, whether it's a habit, whether it's people, whether it's a person, whatever it is, it's going to be different for each of you. Leaving something behind is going to be victorious for you. I feel like you know what I'm talking about. I do. And I feel as though this is going to help you. I want to get one more since all chakra cards are coming out here. What about Archangel Gabriel and... Archangel Ariel here with um, with the fifth chakra and the second chakra. What more do we need to know about this? What is this about? What could we know? It has to do with the Pisces love reading. What more? Yeah, this community was at the bottom of your deck a minute ago when I, after I pulled um, all the first cards out, this community card was there. I noticed it and we have heartache and pain. These are people that did you dirty. These are people that hurt you in some way and that's what you have to leave behind when you leave that behind i feel these people were very deceitful these people were not in your highest good um with magician and the mirror back here i feel like they could have been trying to do and they really hurt you because behind that we have woman holding the heart and uh Archangel Raphael with the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra. These people really, really hurt you. Heart, the broken heart, the community, the people, they were um, manipulating a situation. They were very deceitful. They were not in your highest good. And that's what you need to walk away from. For those of you that are going to resonate with this, this has kept your throat chakra out of balance and your sacral chakra out of balance. Yes, your sacral chakra out of balance. And you know that that your victory depends on you leaving this behind you know that this honoring path i mean look at these these are beautiful the honoring path cancer had this in the same spot i believe um great gratitude which is my favorite card in this deck it's beautiful this is getting up into a vibration of really high vibration of great gratitude that's taking you right into a beautiful new beginning, a new cycle. That's a cycle card. That path is a brand new path you're going to go down, but it involves you leaving this behind and overcoming whatever it is these people put you through. All right, which was very deceitful and painful. Okay, tell me about the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. What do we need to know about this? This has to do with your third eye and your um, intuition. Six chakra archangel metatron what do we need to know about it please for pisces yin yang and caring connections all right this is a healthy balance in a partnership of some kind or just in connections in general i feel like once you leave this behind you are going to absolutely be on this high vibrational path which is going to bring you into contact with high vibration people it's when we're healing that heart chakra definitely work on these chakras i think that it's so important to you to work on the heart i mean work on all the chakras but heart especially i mean you've got a lot of things that are heart centered coming out in this reading all right let's look at um 
let's look at i want to just get one quick card on the caring connections what do we need to know about oops i almost dropped them caring connections is there anything in particular we should know about it hostilities and the thinking woman yes okay so you're still so up in your head concerned about the hostilities which is why you're having a hard time being heart-centered because you're mentally up in your head about it um you know worried that hey if i let anyone back in are they going to hurt me are they going to do the same thing to me that they did that the other people did to me and spirit is saying it's time for you to get out of that and into your heart center again it's very hard once you've been hurt to go back into heart center all right tell me about patience what do we need to know about patience oh shoot that's way too many just one or two patience please all about divine timing again you've got this twice in your reading patience what do we need to know for pisces wow blossoming abundance it's coming it's coming so listen um your blossom blossoming abundance is on its way it's totally worth waiting for and it's totally a new beginning it comes when you balance out these chakras and let go of the thoughts of pain. If you're going to keep on thinking that everyone who walks in is going to hurt you, you're never going to be happy. They really want you to just clearly decide who and what you want in your life. How do you want to be treated? What kind of people do you want in your life? What kind of person do you want to be your soul person? Because this community could be one person. It, it could be multiple people. It could be two people that did you dirty. It could be whatever it is, right? But I feel as though for most of you, more than one person hurt you. I feel like it's at least two, at least. Um, and Spirit is just saying, look, you deserve love. You deserve real love. You deserve true love. You deserve what's worth waiting for. And we want you to clearly decide if, if you're ready for it. Um, listen, if you keep on blocking new because you're afraid, because you're fearful. And anybody would be, right? Um you just keep blocking it and blocking it it's it's not gonna um it's not like you're punished for it it's just that they can't send you a totally high vibrational soulmate if you're gonna push them away or you know sometimes they do and you push them away and you lose out and that's always a bummer but what they're basically saying is you know get yourself up into this high vibration and be ready for the new journey and that really does happen when you overcome something or whatever they did to you, you're going to have to leave it in the past. You're just going to have to leave it in the past. I mean, and there's no other way. I know that it hurts. I know that it's painful. And I know that it's hard to do. So don't get me wrong. That Why do you think they sent that strength card out? Because they're saying it's going to take all the strength you have to walk away and leave what they did to you. The deceit, the heartache, the pain the hostilities it's going to be hard for you to leave it in the past but they're saying if you can get out of your headspace and stop dwelling on the hostilities and how hurt and how angry you are that there's a care and connection they want to send into you but you got to be real balanced for this because it's high vibration it's blossoming abundance it's like um abundance it's like cornucopia it's all about divine timing and it's real high vibration so you got to be in a high vibration and it's just simply letting something go. It sounds simple, yes, but I know it's not easy. Check out my playlist. I have some stuff on there to help you cut karmic cords. There's stuff from Tools from Ascension, my favorite channel for self-help. Anything you need, this guy knows how to help you do it. So check out the playlist. I've handpicked a lot of this stuff. Um, when you're done with that, you'll be like those videos will take you right on to Tools from Ascension right onto his channel page through it see if there's something in there that really could help you i mean his stuff is really top notch that's my opinion if this were my reading that's what i'd be doing i love it i see that you have an opportunity to get in this great high vibration you have an opportunity to go down a brand new path this would be a brand new cycle for you and it's going to take you to what you deserve but what you deserve can only be achieved by being in this really high vibration which means letting go of something something that was painful you're gonna have to release it's like releasing something that really really hurts you all right guys i hope that that's helpful for you there's so much abundance here for you 
if you just could release this. There really is. I know it's not easy. Believe me, I do. I know it's not easy. Um, but do it anyway. Do it anyway. There's so much coming for you if you do. All right. So for Pisces love, what do we need to know here? Pisces love. What do we need to know? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, we got three. Okay. Trust. That's trust the process. Okay. Enthusiasm. Get, get excited about it. Get ready for that new and have faith. Dive right in. So, like I said, even though it's not easy, do it anyway. Because tr trust and have faith that you're going to love it. Enthusiasm. This is going to be so good for you. If you can release whatever these people did to you or this person did to you, you are going to be so thrilled because you're going to be ready for what's been waiting for you. And I feel like this is like immediate. Like as soon as you can let go of this, boom, something amazing comes in that's new. Let me know, guys. I'm really excited for you. So um, let me know, Pisces, what's going on. If this is the vibration you're trying to get into, this honoring path, great gratitude, new beginnings. Or if you're already in it and you just have this one last tweak to do, which is this thing of walking away and releasing what somebody else did to you. And that's pretty obvious. Um, it really is. When I see the hostilities, and these hostilities could be your feelings towards someone. Okay, but it's because they did something that really hurt you, broken heart. And remember that deceit card was at the bottom when we pulled that out. So somebody deceived you and hurt you. And I feel like it was more than one person. So let me know, guys. Um, comment down below and tell me if this, this resonated with you at all. Um, this could have been something that happened in the past. And Spirit is just asking you to do this one last thing before they bring you your person. Your person's coming. If you could release whatever this bit of hostility is or this bit of pain that you're still going through based on something someone did, I feel like you'll be ready. You be ready. This is beautiful reading. It truly is. Okay, guys, let me know. Um, if you need a personal reading, a full personal reading, please reach out. These are just little tidbits, short readings. Um, please like, share, subscribe. My information is directly beneath this video. You might have to tap on something to get the info on the price of the readings, the email, the PayPal, and all that. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon. Just reach out by email. Bye.